she was asking the great questions of her time, the question of what is nationality? What is nationalism? This was a time of emerging nation states. Was this good or was this bad? And how is it working? So this is one huge question. And the best way of answering it was to put these two people together in the same book, the Jewish people and the English people, and to see what was nationhood in relation to both of them? What could one learn from these two in contact with one another and really in contact with one another in the book? So this is one thing. Then there is the theme of increasing individual freedom, liberty, a great theme of the time. Everybody understood that the rights of man, the concept of the rights of man, was giving a lot more freedom to women, to people who were disenfranchised because they were not the aristocracy, because they had a lower level of education, to minorities. I mean, this was a time of wonderfully emerging individual freedom. But again, George Eliot saw in this a tremendous problem. Supposing what you thought was freedom was freedom from, freedom from obligations, freedom from um, who you were in the past. Um, was that really the kind of freedom that you wanted? So again, she has these two groups, these two people, uh, these two contexts for asking the same kind of questions. What did it mean for the woman, Gwendolyn Harleth, and what does it mean for the Jew, like Daniel Deronda and for the other Jews in the novel? Was this freedom a wonderful, liberating thing? Were people going to be able to make themselves happier? Was the country going to be better for it? Or did it have some kind of liabilities and dangers? And then just one other theme, and these are by no means exhaustive themes, there was a the theme of liberalism itself. So you had a liberal democracy, but what did it mean to have a liberal democracy? Uh, everybody thought, and it is such a remarkable thing, greater tolerance, greater openness, greater exchanges among all kinds of people, what we would say today multiculturalism or diversity is sort of what it, what it, what it became. But she noticed something, the author noticed something extraordinary and, um, and was very quick to notice it. That in a sense, some of this liberal democracy was like Christianity in that it assumed that everyone would have to enter its embrace, that Christianity was a higher form of religion, that Christianity was a more embracing kind of thing. She realized that liberalism could be like that too. Well, in a way, there was that concept of toleration, which was, of course, something that she wanted to welcome and to appreciate. But supposing what it really became is, hey, I am so tolerant. I am so willing to embrace you into my way of life. Why would you want to stay different? Why would you want to stay separate? Which is the question, particularly for Jews, who in order to remain Jews, would have to remain a separate people, to some extent a people apart, with their own customs, with their own priorities, with their own way of life, holidays, uh, the calendar that they observe, the, uh, the, the days of the week, the Sabbath, uh, the separation of milk and meat in the system of kosher. How, were, were you, as a good, tolerant liberal, going to be able to tolerate someone who lived in your midst and was other than yourself, different from you? To learn more about George Eliot's Daniel Deronda and to enroll in this online course, visit danielderonda.org.